Welcome to the flowerschool.com video library. I'm Leanne Kessler, director of the Floral Design Institute, and today I want to share with you a classic styled hand tie bridal bouquet. For the bouquet, I wanted to choose the popular flowers, hydrangeas, spray roses, and then the all-time favorite, garden roses. This variety, called Lavender Bouquet, is from GardenRosesDirect.com. It's a beautiful rose, very muted, soft lavender color with just a touch of silver. And when you buy these, you want to bring them in a good three to five days early. Check out the website, it'll warn you these take three days to open fully. I actually let them sit for five days to get this beautiful open stage. Now when you're hydrating them and processing them, leave the leaves on. That helps to suck the water up. But now that I've prepared them for the design, I took most of the leaves off so that I have just the beautiful rose. When you create in the classic style, you want to prepare all your materials ahead of time. Make sure that the lower leaves are off so you just have bare stems. Make sure that all the foliage is off of your flowers that could be below the holding point. So anything that's going to be below your hand has to be removed so all the leaves are off. Then I oftentimes will start with a hydrangea and a bit of foliage, bringing it in at an angle. And that's the trick. Everything comes in at a slight angle. You can go back and add your flowers. And again, just angling it, then turn it. Add in the next blossom, maybe one of the spray roses, and then maybe a little more foliage. Always putting it at the same angle and turning just a bit. As you work, keep thinking about the varieties you have to work with, tucking them in, and then as you're working with them, don't hesitate to nestle right down in. So the hydrangea can be divided out a bit and then the flower tucked in. So you don't end up with quite as full of a line of hydrangea. You get more of a mixture going on. Then turning it, tucking in. Maybe another of the beautiful lavender bouquet roses. And each time, slanting so that you're turning the heads and tucking them in, always in the same angle. Going back, maybe a little more of the foliage. And then turn it and tucking in more roses. Angling them in so it spirals around. You can see there's quite a bit of depth going on. The hydrangea tucked low then the roses, and then the spray roses. You can adjust the height of each bloom as you set it in so that you get some terracing going on, which creates a more interesting bouquet. And then just watching the coloration and the placement. And keep filling in until you are full and lush and happy with the placement. As I finish the bouquet, I turn it in my hand, checking for holes, looking where I might want one more blossom, maybe tucking one right over here, getting a little bit fuller, maybe one around on this side, and then go back and add the last bits of foliage to add some softness on the edges. Again, turning it. Maybe one more bit right there. To tie it off, I like to use raffia. It's nice and strong. Just wrap it above your hand, going around two or three times, leaving the end. We'll use that to knot it off. All right. Try not to catch the foliage. I want to leave that out hanging full. Then just setting it down to tie the knot, keeping the heads off the table so you don't squish any of those gorgeous roses. Tying snugly. And clipping it short. And going back and cutting all the stems. You don't want them to be quite so long and leggy. 
So removing the stem. And I like to set it in a vase so that I can work with the ribbon. And I've got some beautiful hand-dyed ribbon from a graduate of ours, one of the wedding foil specialist students, Shane. You may have seen him on the live stream that we did, but he left me some of this treasured ribbon. And this is just perfect to go ahead and knot around over the top of the raffia and then lead the streamers long. The classic anti-bridal bouquet takes a little bit of practice to master. So try this, get yourself some flowers, make a hand tie, and then take it apart, do it again. Take it apart and do it again and keep practicing. It's easy after you've done many of them, I promise you. And it's absolutely wonderful with the roses from GardenRosesDirect.com. This lavender bouquet variety is truly one of my favorites. I am falling in love with it. Now for more creative inspiration, check out our website, FlowerSchool.com. If you have questions, you can reach me through there or pick up the telephone or give me a call at 503-223-8089. And of course, I'd love to see what you create. Take a picture, post it on social media and hashtag Floral Design Institute and let us all see, or send it to my personal email, leanne at floraldesigninstitute.com. Because now it's your turn. Have fun and do something you love.